Hey guys, this is blog number six, and I'm going to be talking about flaky friends and being late. And to me, those are the two most infuriating things, especially about interacting with people. And the thing I hate about flaky friends is, you know, you make plans weeks ahead of time, and then they flake out on the last second. Not to mention the fact that you've checked in with them consistently every other day, every three days or so on before whatever you planned on doing. And, you know, you're just checking with them just checking to make sure that there's nothing wrong and you're giving them a chance to back out days and weeks ahead of the plan and the day of the plan you know you still check in with them and the day of the plan they still you know they're still up for it and then it's when it suddenly hits the hour before the plan or you know half an hour before the plan or minutes before you guys are supposed to hang out meet up or whatever they suddenly disappear from the face of the earth they suddenly just disappear like they don't text, they don't call, no nothing. And then you're sitting there, you're you're wherever you guys are supposed to meet up at, whether it's the park, a restaurant, a movie theater, whatever. And you're waiting on them, and then only like half an hour later do you get a text of them flaking out. And usually it's for some bullcrap reason. And for me, I give people three strikes. Like if it's a like, you only have like two strikes. For just bullcrap reasons, you know, two strikes, because I can understand people just being, you know, kind of flaky and kind of nervous about hanging out. I can understand. But the third time, if it's not an emergency or a really good reason, I'm not going to make any plans with you anymore. I'm not going to take time out of my day to make a plan with you. Because the most infuri infuriating thing about flaking, it's not about them not coming. It's about, you know, flaking out at the last second. It's about the fact that someone took time out of their own schedule to make a plan for you. Weeks ahead of time or days ahead of time, they made plans for you. They took time out of their own schedule that they could have did doing something else, being productive or interacting with other people to interact with you, and you flake out on the last second for bullcrap. And I think like after that third strike, I wouldn't make any plans because I feel like after that, you're going to have to meet me 75 percent of the way like I have to feel like I'm not losing any more of my time trying to hang out with you I have to feel like after that third strike that you have more to lose in flaking out than I do and I think that's this is basically how I feel about flaking about friends that flake out and but like if it's someone like I'm trying to date and they flake out I'm just I'm just like I'm over it like I'm over like after three times of flaking out and it's someone I'm trying to date, it's just a no-go. Like, it's just a no-go. If you flake this many times and trying to date, maybe you're just trying to tell me something and I'm just not getting the message. But I feel like when you do flake out, the best thing to minimize the damage to the person you flaked out on is to follow it up with an apology. Say you're sorry. Give a reason. Be honest about why you flaked out. I mean, but... Even before that, if you do intend to flake out on the day of, at least send a message or call or let the person know the day of that you're not going to be able to make it, that you're not going to be able to do that, at least the day before. That Just to be fair, be fair to the person you're flaking out on. Because I think nothing's more annoying than actually getting ready and going to the place that you're supposed to be hanging out at or meeting up at or whatever you plan to do and the other person doesn't follow through with the whole other part of their plan also another thing i hate is being late like i hate friends that be late to actually meeting up or hanging out because you know i think a couple minutes that's fair half an hour it's fair but an hour or two especially when you knew that we had plans to do something that's just that's just a no-go i would leave after after an hour, I would leave. Like once it ro approaches an hour that somebody's late, I would leave. Unless it's critically important, I would really leave after an hour because I just don't feel like being like an idiot waiting in public or you know a park or a movie or a restaurant or whatever waiting for somebody and they're not coming until an hour or two later. I mean, unless you give me a good reason, because I can do other things. I can preoccupy myself waiting. You know, like. You know, they, I can always have a book or, you know, play some app on my phone or read something or do do something, you know, something to preoccupy that gap of time waiting. But when you don't give me no type of um 
notification or information or no type of communication that you're going to be late, then you're leaving me here being like looking dumbstruck, the straight dumbstruck with nothing to do, looking at people's faces, waiting to see you actually come around. And that's the most annoying thing. Um, this is Malo. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, give me your experiences with somebody that was flaky or just having somebody that was late.